Hello everyone, Stuart here from Stubu Gaming, just doing a, a little bit of a video on ARC. Now, I'm currently on the Aberration map, which has some very bad press, and if I'm being honest, I can see why. Now, the location I've picked to build my base is probably one of the best locations, not because of resource or anything like that, purely because it's light. Um, now, Aberration, you spend 90% of your time in the dark, even when you're in what I would consider to be um, a daylight environment. Um, it is a very dark and miserable uh, map, if uh, that's all being said. So, as you can see, I've got uh, my stone tier, which is the third tier of uh, building equipment. You start with thatch move on to wood, then you get stone and eventually metal and then if you're lucky you'll eventually end up with tech um, you only get the tech by defeating the actual bosses of the various maps so I'm currently trying to build a few defences I did manage at one stage to tame a level 125 ravager um, now ravagers are basically the wolf, well, they're a bit more than a wolf because there are dire wolves in Ark as it is, um, but the Ravager are very mutated and very feral creatures. They're a cross between a dog and a cat, if, if I'm being honest. Um, but as I said, I managed to tame one of those, however, two more Ravagers must have wandered into this area because it eventually got killed. I, I literally logged in I saw loads of damage um, icons outside, and um, yeah, it got killed, unfortunately. So I managed to shoot the ravagers that killed it from the windows, um, but it was already too late. Okay, so... Currently cooking some uh, food. Now for those that don't know, and if you don't know then I would be surprised because this game has been out for quite a while. Ark is a survival game, so you have to eat, you have to um, basically look after yourself completely. So eat, drink, you don't have to sleep luckily, um, if you did that would be ridiculous. But this particular map has the added... Um, nightmare I suppose of earthquakes which you can see going on at the moment it's not a nightmare because it damages you and indeed it does give you some nice resources by dropping them on the floor like this bit of wood here and this stone here you do get crystals and various other things um, the problem that I have with it is when you're trying to build if that starts as you're placing a wall or a floor or something along those lines, you actually end up putting it somewhere you don't want the item to go, so it can cause you some issues. So currently, um, I'm actually on this, this is my private server, and I'm on it with a friend of mine who's he's not logged in at the moment, but he's the only other person currently on this server with me. Um, now we've managed to build this well, I suppose small cabin between the two of us and there he is asleep um, currently just uh, trying to get enough material to change all the internal walls for stone Sorry about that, I just had to mute my mic because I had a coughing fit. Lovely. Um, okay, so that's me in the trough for the bulb dog that I've got. Good old fliss that I've just literally tamed. Now I'm currently trying to build um, a load of different things. The main resource that I'm requiring at the moment is 
metal. Now, metal is a nightmare to get because you have to get it from either solid metal deposits, which you find in specific locations, or you have to be lucky when you're harvesting stone. As you can see, you don't get much. Now, I've got increased um, resource gathering on this particular server, so I think I've got three times resource gathering. Um, I also have increased taming speed and breeding speed. Other than that, everything is the same, so there's no additional damage um, versus creatures or anything like that. Now what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm trying to get enough resource together to build a door for that gaping hole over there. That'll be one side closed off, then I just need to worry about the other side which I can also be attacked from. Now Ark is a very unforgiving game, so it's very very easy to end up getting yourself killed just by walking into the wrong area that you don't even realise is the wrong area. Right, so... Oh, excellent, I've actually got enough. currently trying to make a lot of tranquilizers because um, I'm, I've uh, learned how to make long neck rifle In fact, let's turn that off because I'll rot the rest of that meat to make tranquilizers So yeah, I've learned how to make the long neck rifle, and then I'll need to learn how to make rifle bullets and the trank darts, because the trank darts are a lot more um, capable than the actual trank arrows that I'm using at the moment. There we go. So I now need to, uh, basically I need to get the wall to four walls high all the way around. Um, I like this place because it's got walls on basically the two sides anyway because it's a complete cliff face. Now what I did want to do was there are some very good items on this particular map which I can actually make and I can't remember, I think they're I can't remember what they're called but Basically, they are for climbing walls and vertical surfaces. There we go. So, I need some fungal wood and some more metal ingots. Metal ingots are going to be the pain in the neck, to be fair. Fungal wood, where am I going to get that from? Because around here, there aren't many mushrooms, and mushrooms, the tall mushrooms, are where you get the fungal wood from. I made this smaller door. I was going to put another door next to it, actually, like a person door. So I've got the three sizes. The reason I've done that is because the Behemoth Gate, which is that absolutely massive one you can see the side of there, that takes longer to open for obvious reasons. So if you're being chased at all, you might want to uh, go through the smaller gate so the giant dinosaurs can't get through after you. Because if they are a giant dinosaur, 
then there are certain things that they they can actually not get through. So um, if you're being chased by a Parasa, which are the the ones that look like a cross between an Aardvark and an elephant, I suppose. Um, what? Oh, a bear. Okay, so there's a bear there. I'm not sure that's actually good because. He's got a high level bear as well. I mean, I would love to get that bear. Don't get me wrong. But um, I don't think currently I've got anything that I could uh, tame him with. I haven't got enough. Let's just see. Have I got any more? I don't think 32 trank arrows are actually going to be enough because I think the problem with the bear is he's actually got very high torpor which is what um, you use to knock out the enemies so you have to get their torpor to maximum level now in some cases a bear's torpor is actually higher than his health so you end up killing him while trying to knock him out which is not good. I don't know whether bears can actually damage stone because if they could that would be absolutely terrible. For some reason I feel like I want to build something to trap them. Do I have some other? Yeah, I've got one of those already. Right, now the reason I'm building windows and I'll build doorways as well is because when you build those, things like bears can't get through. So just up ahead I've built a... Well, it's kind of like a, a double dinosaur gate enclosure. You can just see them in the distance there. stuff for that. Oh, I don't need that much. Right, let's eat some berries because they give me some water. Because if I could get that bear... Oh, knocking myself out eating that. So because I was sprinting then, I didn't mean to sprint, but I'd clicked the button by accident. 
um, it was making my water go down very quickly. Hence why it kept popping up with uh, dehydrating. There they are. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get... I have to be careful because you do get other things that aren't just... Uh, bears in this area, unfortunately. wrong. Possibly be wrong. Um, two. I'm not sure that's going to be enough, but we'll see. enough. So what I'll do is I'll get my two doors and leave them open. thatch and wood. Excellent, that's what we like. So it's getting light again now. Now, this is all well and good, but you will have a problem if you um, if you try and tame anything big, they'll just climb over those walls. So as it stands at the moment, I have no idea where that bear's gone. Now you're okay if you keep your distance, but if you get too close, they will attack. 
and they have a horrific charge. So they can go really quickly, really fast. At one stage they were my favourite creature, but there are now some better creatures. Um, Megatherium is one of my favourites, which is a giant sloth. But I understand on the new Extinction map, which uh, is already out on PC but hasn't come out on console yet, I understand the there is a creature on that called a Gacha, and it's personally I think it's almost game breaking because it can collect any type of resource, so it'll collect stone, flint, wood, fiber, thatch. It'll collect all of the basics. But then, if you leave um, owl pellets, which are basically owl poo, um, in its inventory with some stone, it will create um, whatever you want it to create passively. So it can create; it will create its own little um, crystals on its back, and those crystals will eventually become things such as items or um, pearls or whatever and it's got a random selection of things that it can it can passively create and you select the one that you actually want it to, to create at that particular time if you don't select one and you just click any it has a, a chance of creating items and they can become ascendant items which are the best items in the game so to me it does sound a little bit on the uh, game breaking side but uh, that's just my opinion of course right. the reason I did a third one by the way is because I'm going to put one over there later on so I'm building it too high because I don't know what's going to be coming and I don't want to be uh, attacked or killed by anything nasty. Right, the reason I've done the doors that high is because when you're running, if the ground is slightly uneven, you will get caught on the doorway and that will in a lot of cases be the end of you so if you're creating doorways like that where it's a little bit uneven always try and create them too high especially if it doesn't matter if they're too high because those bears can't get through normal doorways for instance if you've been attached but uh, attacked by a small creature such as a, a ravager or a raptor, I think they can get through people doors. I think. I'm not 100% certain. Um, it's something that I'll have to actually try because I can't remember. Right, I'm still eating berries to get my water because um, unfortunately the water skins, um, I have crafted one and I filled it up a number of times. Unfortunately when you do fill them up they uh, lose water over time, so by the time you actually need to use it, the water's gone. So I, I personally find them a little bit pointless. Right, so I need a little bit more stone, and then I'm going to have to repair my hatchet anyway, so I might need to create some more uh, metal ingots. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm in a situation where I have got a lot of stuff, which is a lot of weight. I've got no water, so I'm not going to be able to outrun anything. So I'm going to go and stick everything else back in the uh, 
Oh, I started getting the. Uh, I started getting greenhouse stuff. Okay. Right, I'm gonna stick everything back in the uh, house. And then I'm gonna come back and try and find that bear. I might just put that doorway in on the way past. It makes sense to try and actually build the door to fit the doorway. Make sure I build a door and not a window, that would help. I'll get some water while I'm there as well and I'll fill my water skin. Because when you sprint, your water does go down very, very quickly. Cannot place, there's no snap point available. We'll be in a second. Um, close to that. There we go, and. There we go. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Um, I will make another one of these. Please let me know in the comments what you think. I'm trying to find some um, decent content that you guys actually enjoy watching because my views are um, dropping and obviously I want to boost those again. So if you do enjoy, please like and subscribe. Um, please click the bell icon and I hope to see you for my next video very soon. Bye for now.